you're writing a story or a poem, you need to know about tone. What is it and how can you make it your friend? Howdy space cats, it's me Jules with another video on the art of making books. If that's something that you think will be useful to you then make sure you subscribe and ding the bell next to it. I'm going to delve into tone today. Now maybe you've heard of it and you probably have a rough idea. But knowing exactly what it is will help bring structure to your creative writing and illustrate to your audience the message that you want them to take away. Tone is the word that describes the mood of your writing. For example, imagine that you and I are going to go and watch a film together, but you arrive at my house half an hour late. Run over by a buffalo, were you? I say with a grin. Compare that to, where the heck have you been? We're going to miss the film now. And, are you okay? What happened? These three responses have a different mood to them. They are very unalike. Tone is used for books of any age. Tone is used in books for any age. Let's have a look at Guess How Much I Love You. That book is all about, it's a really feel good, loving, caring, nurturing tone. Whereas perhaps the Moomin stories are playfully fun. Tone differs from a writer's voice in one very crucial way. A writer's voice is about what they are interested in. So the sorts of things that they might write about. Whereas tone is how they get that message across. So if you want to write a book about plastic in the ocean, then that's your voice. You feel it's really important to get that message across about whatever you feel about plastic in the ocean. But what's the mood? Depressed? Angry? Regretful? Hopeful? Serious? Persuasive? Melancholic? That is your tone. The clever and creative thing to do in your writing is to convey your tone carefully by use of words and phrases. That way you don't run the risk of telling your reader how they must feel. It comes under the show don't tell school of writing. For example, Goldilocks only meant to try the beds to see which one she liked best, but now she was fast asleep in Baby Bear's cot. The gloom was spreading up the mountainside like a leopard stalking its prey as the hungry tired grizzly bears made their way home. Inside her dreams, Goldilocks had no idea that her life was about to change forever. Let me know in the comments what you think that tone would be. Or there's Little Red skipped along the path, full of the joys of spring. The apple pie in her basket was still warm and wafting out little puffs of cinnamon heaven. She stopped to pick up a primrose flower and noticed out of the corner of her eye a familiar character. What would that tone be? There is no conclusive list of types of tone because we're talking really about human emotion here. But perhaps a few that you might consider could be formal, informal, happy, sad, fearful, humorous, serious, bitter, calm, angry, nostalgic, regretful, sarcastic. The questions that you need to ask yourself when trying to decide on your tone are, what is the overall mood that you want to create? What do you want your reader to feel? What kind of language will best deliver that tone. And remember to think really carefully about your child audience. Perhaps writing a story that has a very scary, dark tone is not going to get you many loyal followers if you're writing for three to six year olds. But perhaps a slightly spooky, playfully challenging tone 
would. Keep your overall tone consistent. For example, if you're writing a story about a little boy growing up in World War II, you might be thinking of a nostalgic tone. So perhaps looking back to the days, uh, the clothes that he would be wearing, perhaps the steam trains that he might be riding, or the national mood of your country. That doesn't mean to say you can't have an angry character in it, or perhaps a few humorous scenes. Just so long as you remember and keep in your mind that your overarching tone is going to be one of nostalgia. Here's a question. How can you develop your tone? Remember who your audience is. What age are you writing for? Don't go littering your text with words that children won't understand for the age that they are. And don't go giving children lots of phrases that they just don't get. You can show your mood through dialogue between people. This is a brilliant way of showing and not telling your audience. Having conversations between two or three or more people, it just sets down their character and elevates the tone of the piece of work. Be descriptive in your writing. How did that door shut? Did it slam loudly and vibrate all the walls? Or did it click shut? Hmm. Give your inanimate objects life. Was the banana hard and ripe? Or was it perfect for that afternoon smoothie? Instead of telling your audience, Jessie was scared. Be descriptive about how she felt. Like this. Jessie felt a trickle of sweat make its way down from her temple. And despite knowing that her life depended on keeping dead quiet, a small cry escaped from her lips. So this is tone. I hope that will help you in your creative writing. But don't forget! If you'd like further artist tutorials, I have a variety of short courses that will help you. There are real-time sessions looking at painting, drawing and marker pens, among others. And if you're keen on producing your own book, there is a more in-depth course on what you need to know about self-publishing a book with illustrations. And that covers making key decisions, how to make layouts and dummy books, rhythm and pacing, as well as several tutorials on illustrating your book, and a look at the tech. You can either hop over to my website or join me on Patreon for more information. Go on, give it a go! And if you have a spare thumb, please give me a like so that it gets my channel out to lots more people who it might help also. And according to the comments, they do find it helpful. If you're writing something at the moment, then drop me a comment to tell me what your tone is. Is it light-hearted, dark and scary, fun or wistful? Who knows what I'll be doing next week? Maybe I'll be vlogging, clearing out all the spiders from my studio that appear to have come in over the summer. That should be fun. Until then, I'm off to play fight with the pigeon. I will see you next week. Nanu nanu. Jessie felt a trickle of sweat make its way down from her temple. And despite knowing that her life depended on keeping dead quiet, a small cry escaped from her lips. I have birds in the garden and they're making a lot of noise. <laughs>